guys, Emma from ENA Services here, and today I will be showing you guys how to make your very own granola bar. In this video, I will be showing you guys how to make this baby granola bar. Um, for this one, you would just do a few more rows and stuff like that. You would just add a few more rows. I think I did four rows for each of these, and then seven for this one. This one's bigger. That's how you can improvise and make it bigger granola bar but in this video I, I will be showing you guys how to make this mini granola bar so my sister will be filming this whole video her name's Anna so the band count it's kind of a lot so about 220 to like about 250 bands for this granola bar and then you'll also be needing some caramel to pop in pop in to add the little flares, you don't have to do that if you don't want to, it saves some bands. And you'll also be needing some bands for your chocolate chips. Um, I use the white for like yogurt chips, also because I don't have any more cocoa. But enough talking, and two beads for the eyes, I'm using the 9mm ones, and two bands for the cheeks, I'm using the Michaels Hot Pink. But this is the finished product if you guys wanted to see it now. Enough talking, let's get on to the video. Okay, so we're gonna get started by making the eyes and the cheeks and these wrapped chips. But we are gonna start with our eye. So, you wanna get two bands. I'm just doing one of the caramel. You're gonna pinch, get your bead, and slide. So this is your beaded eye. And I did one without the caramel. So those are your eyes. Next, I will be showing you guys how to make this cheek band. So you're gonna get a single band, wrap it around. So there are two loops. And grab both of the bands, twist, and reclaim back on the hook. So now, as you can see, you have four loops total. And then you're just gonna grab two bands and slide your cheek on. Have a bit of trouble with this. So these are your cheeks. Next I'm going to show you guys how to make these chips. So you'll need about 25 of them total. So I have two bands left because I'm going to show you guys how to do it on the rainbow loom hook and on the latch hook. The latch hook just makes it a little bit faster. You honestly don't have to need a latch hook but I have one, so mine as well. So I'll start off with the rainbow loom hook. So, it's made just like the cheeks, but you're gonna get a single band, twist it so there's two loops, grab both of the bands, and place those two loops back on the hook. So now you have four loops, and then you're gonna grab two bands and slide your chip on, like that. And then for the latch hook, pretty much the same thing except you know it's a latch hook so get the band twist it grab all the loops bring it back on the hook and this little latch part helps but I'm just gonna do one with the burgundy okay I keep calling it burgundy the caramel and then this little hook part will close up so then you can just slide your chip on so again you will be needing about 25 of these so now that we have all of our, um, I guess, parts. Let's get started on the actual granola bar. So I'm just gonna technically move all of these bands aside, but we are gonna start by making this um, top part of the bottom, the top of the granola bar, then we'll work our way. So I'm just gonna move this down back there. So we are gonna start on the sixth pin up with this middle bar. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. So we're gonna start by making three X's. So keep your finger there, start from here all the way. And then grab two more. So that's one X. And then we're gonna make them overlap. So this is our second X. Anna, you're being so loud. Here, get get all of your bands out first so we don't hear any background, okay? Okay. Okay, to start with our granola bar, we're gonna start up here and then technically work our way down. So we are gonna start by making three X's on the sixth pin up. 
So one, two, three, four, five, six. Start from here, go across. So that's half of an X technically. So that's one X, then go from there to there. So that is one X, then we'll start our second X technically. We'll start from here, go across to that pin, and then grab two more and stretch across. And we wanna make a total of three X's Technically, this is our final X, and then one. Just to make it fun, I'm gonna end with a chip. Really doesn't make a difference. And two. So you can push your bands down. Then we're gonna make a cap band, technically two bands. So you're gonna get two bands, twist, twist. So you technically wrap it around three times. I just like to turn my loom two and three so now your loom should look something like this now we're going to start the hooking so we're going to start on this right side push back all six of those loops technically to cap band grabbing your two and bringing them all the way over here then you're going to push again grabbing those two and bringing them all the way across and then you always want to start on the right side after you hook your x so go in through the four bands, technically loops, bring it there, push, grab, and loop. Oh. Then we're gonna do that one more time. And this is a very, very repetitive happy food, so it actually won't be, it's repetitive rounds, so it will take kind of a while because it's a, a repetitive happy food but anyway you're gonna push your bands down and now we're gonna start working on the actual like granola bar so we are gonna be doing a row around so just follow along with me but I just got a band stuck don't do that <laughs> you're gonna start with two bands then you can just place your chips as you go just place them wherever you think you want to place them if you want to copy me Go ahead. I actually think I'm gonna need more caramel bands. I only have like five. <laughs> Just gonna go all the way around. Placing your chips along the way, or nuts, or whatever you're using. Like that. So that is our row. So now we will be flipping the bottom four bands. Grabbing the four. So I really want you guys to see this. So there's two, then, well, the cap band's six. So you're gonna grab the cap band and bring it over. And then grab the bottom four bands and bring it over. I wanna do this all the way around. And those upper two corners will have six loops and then all the rest will have four loops to bring over. And it also feels kind of tight. So you could technically kind of figure it out that way. Then you're gonna push down and then we will be doing another row around as I said repetitive rounds so it's all about repetition so yeah we're gonna do this row just going all the way around adding your chips where you need and this is two bands double bands technically You're gonna flip, grabbing your loom, grabbing the bottom four bands, bringing them up and over. Making sure there's four loops on every pin. That's how you know you flipped over the right amount of bands because if you don't see four loops, that means you either hooked it wrong or something like that. Then you're gonna push down. So you want to do four more rows around and I will meet you back here when you do four more rows around. Okay. 
So, welcome back. Hopefully you have finished your four rows, and now, oh, I put a band every time I finish my row. But now we can start pulling this up, because you can see it's getting kind of cramped. I actually waited until I finished the four rows to show you guys, because over time, the bands get really stuck on the pins, so and you just want to pull your bar up. I'm just gonna flip all these over, kind of. Okay, and then you wanna push down. Sorry, I have a little blue chair, it's kinda squeaky. Okay, so next, after you have completed those four rows, is our eye row. And also, I think the chips actually matter on how many chips you want, because you can put them wherever you want. I realize that, that's so my fault. But anyway, you're gonna start with two bands. And then you're gonna grab an eye and place it. I like to turn my loom to the side for this. I think it's easier. Then you're gonna grab two bands and then another eye. Tie your one back. And then you're gonna grab two bands all the way. Then you're gonna get two bands and go all the way around the rest of your granola not the granola all the way across your loom i'm speaking jump i'm not speaking correctly sorry about that <laughs> then you're gonna flip the bottom four bands I was actually faster, it's just I haven't loomed in a while, so I'm a bit slow. Whoa, making sure you have four loops, every pen you can pull up. Now that we're this far into the project, you can pull up every single row, or every few rows. Push down, and then next is our cheek row. Oh. If you weren't wondering, this is a little clay snake that got in the scene. Okay, sorry about that. I had trouble remembering how to put the mouth on. Oh my gosh. Okay, so we're going to do two bands, pretty much. But if you guys don't want cheeks, you don't have to add them. Like some of my friends that loom, they don't like adding their cheeks. But if you are adding cheeks, you'll add them. I just realized I wasn't in the scene. To these two spots. Then two bands. And then put your cheek. And sorry if my voice is kind of soft. It's because we went hiking today and I'm kind of tired. But I really wanted to get this video out, so I'm doing it. And then two bands all the way around the rest. And I actually don't really like repetitive happy foods, but I think it's worth it. You know what? I'm going to put a chip there. You could put chips wherever you want. <laughs> and then again, you're gonna flip the bottom four. And like, probably for me, this next step after we do this, this is kind of the easy part, it's gonna be the hardest because we have to um, add on a mouth. I don't like adding on mouths. Gonna pull up, that's like about halfway, about halfway there. I'm just gonna bring these bands over. I love to make sure my bands are over and around. Okay. Woo. Now we are be I now we're gonna be adding our mouth. So I'm turn our loom to the side. I hope you guys can see. Okay, good. So you're gonna get a band, wrap it around. So there are two loops. So and you're gonna go in here and then place stretch your cap band and slide it on and just place that there then you're gonna grab these four bands and place them back on the pen just have to make sure it get all of them on okay and then now that we did that we're gonna go right here i i love to turn so we're gonna take these four off and then grab the mouth, technically in the two middle pins. 
grabbing the mouth, sliding it up there. Then you're gonna get these four and place them back onto the pin. Turn your loom around, grab this, band and bring it over. Now our granola bar has a little mouth. I should have added more chips there. Anyway, we're gonna push it down. And now we will be doing four more rows around. So I'll do a few with you. So just gonna move my chips back. So we have to do four more rows. And I think you should put a band on every time you finish the row. I will be doing a row with you, then you can pause the video and do three more. I realized I wasn't very clear on how to do your rows in the beginning when I first showed you guys. So making myself more clear. Four rows all the way around with double bands. Then you can keep adding your caramel streaks along the. I keep calling the band yeah, caramel. You keep adding your caramel streaks along the way, and adding chips when you think it's necessary. Flipping the bottom four. I hope you guys like this design. So I was actually trying to make a happy potato, and then it turned out like a weird looking bar. One sec. Yeah, so one minute. So this is the weird looking failed happy potato. So then I got inspired to do the um happy granola bar. And here I am doing it now. You guys probably already finished cooking. <laughs> but yeah. So I'm still currently working on the happy, actually, I, I am gonna try again later today. But get your bands over if you have any cramped up. I do. Push your bands down. Then you can get a single band to mark your row. I have some four screen bands next to me. So that's one row. And you want four rounds in total. And I realize I'm gonna need a crown now. So I'll put them here. So I will meet you guys back here when I finish my four, three more rows. Do three more rows, okay? Okay, now that you have completed the four rows, I will be doing the last two rows with you because I also need to show you guys how to close your granola bar. So we're gonna do two more rows right now. I'm doing it with you guys, so. I would have done a full length tutorial, but I decided not to this time. For things like bracelets, which is my sister's thing. She makes like a billion original designs. So we will be posting videos on her brace, her amazing bracelets. So definitely stay tuned for those. Also, we have an Etsy shop. The name is ENA Services. So, if you want to buy anything from us, the link will be in the description box down below. It would mean a lot. Just telling you guys. And we have one more row left, and I am really close. We are almost done, guys. This is our last row. Then we can take this, I guess, guy off the loom. I get so excited. And I have one chip left. This is working out pretty smoothly. And then I I always mess up on the closing. That's why my happy foods look kind of bad. 
because they always mess up on the closings. But I'm gonna try to make this an easy video to follow. If I am not clear, I'm sorry. I will try my best in the future. And yeah, I'm trying to kind of rush. I'm so excited to finish. Then you're gonna go to the bottom floor, bring it over, and if you heard my sister, she wants my happy this happy granola bar, so I'll give this to her when I finish, or when you guys also finish your granola bars. Oh yeah, this could also be a protein bar if you want. So that was our final row. Woo! Okay, now we just have to close this guy. It's kind of the hard part. So now let's start on the closing. So how to close this is we are gonna be using the braiding method, woo. Um, if you want, you can use a latch hook. It's just, it's really hard to close in my opinion. I'm just gonna use this latch hook. So start anywhere, I'm gonna start in this upper right corner. I had to eat lunch, it was so good. I had burgers. You're gonna grab the four and go to the left and then slip knot. As you can see, it's kind of faster to latch up. And then, oh god. Lift that off, go back to the right, and then slip knot. Ugh, get over. And you want to do this technically. Oh no, I didn't slip knot the right amount of bands. Wait. Make sure you have four loops when you finish slip knotting, and I don't have four loops, so I'm going to try to fix it. This is what, what I mean by I'm not very good at closings. Don't know what happened. Um, did I just go into the next pin? One. One. Two. Okay, those are loose. I'm just gonna keep them on my hook because I don't know what I just did, honestly. And so I'm gonna go to this next one and so not all of these. I think it'll be fine. It's just because I lost track for I was closing. Maybe the last trick isn't easy. Actually, it's kind of hard. Making sure all... Uh, one sec. Make sure... Oh, no! Are you kidding? Making sure all of your bands are on the pins. These are starting to fall because there's tension. So you really want to make sure you don't lose any bands since you've gotten this far into the design. Okay. It's just like the moment of truth. We have to, I'm just gonna put two bands here just to be safe. I'm being safe right now. I really don't wanna lose this design, so I'm just gonna put two bands there so it'll just hold it while I braid here. And don't do the final, ugh. Don't to do a final braid because um, we're gonna do something a little bit different. So, once you grab those bands, I'm just gonna tuck, whoa, kind of undo itself a little bit. Just, I'm just gonna tug on these. But you're gonna get two bands and pull through, reclaim, so not. Now I should have something like this. Maybe not. Oh, there we go. Now we are gonna, I thought I did this wrong for a second. I think I did also make this one a bit shorter than this one, only cause I don't want it to be as band heavy and stuff. So now we will be going into this hole here, grabbing the two. For a second I thought I messed up when I first saw it. I was like, uh, uh oh. <laughs> then you're gonna pull the band up. You can just use your finger. Now you just want to stretch. So yeah, um, I should have. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Did I say? I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you liked it, please give it a big thumbs up. It would mean a lot. And please go check out our Etsy shop in the description down below. That would also mean a lot to us. And yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Okay, so if you want a bow for your granola bar, I'll show you how. 
Um, my sister just loves girls because she is one, so I'm just gonna show you guys quick. So two bands, go across, then just stick your hook. You can also do this on a two pin, like pencils or something. And then bring it back, and then we slip knot. Sorry, um, I turned my focus lamp off. That's why it's not as bright. <laughs> Tug. Take the bow off. Put your loom aside. And then I'll show you just guys a quick thing on how to attach the bow. So I'm going to stick your hook through a chunk. Grab the bow. And slide it through. So that's technically your bow. You can adjust. So there, I think I want it on the other corner. So also careful not to move your slip knot out of the way or anything. I'm just gonna add it here because there's like no chips, I feel bad. So I'm just gonna tuck this in very carefully. And this tug and then I'm just gonna keep hiding it. This bow is removable because it's just tucked in. It could always fall out if it wants to. So that's, I guess, another plus. So I just added a little bow. So yeah, that's it for the bow.